Tennis ball is a very useful thing for any kind of self myofascial release. I show it for numerous parts of the body. This is just an easy thing to do for the bottom of the foot. If you have plantar fascia pain, if you have any kind of tenderness along the arch of your foot, this usually feels kind of nice, just something to gently roll onto it. So in sitting, I use the ball for a couple reasons, right? One, a tennis ball is soft enough that there's not too much pressure underneath there. And I'm gonna start off if I can with my lower leg somewhat perpendicular to the floor. So I don't want the ball to be way out in front of me here. Right? And I'll start with it maybe just behind the knuckles of my toes. And as I start to roll, I'm trying to see if I find any tender or sensitive areas. So first I'm just kind of roll forward and my foot kind of points down. I'm going to roll back and I take my heel down towards the ground. And first, just a very general movement over top of the ball. I'm not putting a ton of pressure on it. It's just a little bit of pressure along plantar fascia and some muscles and tendons that run along the, the bottom aspect of my foot. Now, if I find something that's sensitive, if it feels like it's a little uncomfortable, I may work around that spot a little bit. So I may spend a little bit more time in that area. The only thing that's important to consider is that your, your feet don't have a lot of soft tissue. So if you're finding a sensitive point feels like it's a bony structure, I don't necessarily want to jam my bone into this tennis ball. So if you find something that feels kind of hard and, and is sore, I wouldn't necessarily force that into the ball. I would maybe work around it. Um, same thing coming back to the heel, since heel and plantar fascia pain is pretty common. Um, I'm going to take this ball, if it's really sensitive back towards my heel, I'm going to stay just short of that. Same thing, any area that's too tender, I may rock a little bit side to side or a little bit front to back, trying to move that ball right around the sensitive point without jamming into it. And then periodically, I may try and go back towards it a little further and see if it's getting more okay with that ball pushing around it. Um, that's the only thing you gotta really respect with the tennis ball is that you wanna feel maybe a little discomfort, a little bit uncomfortable, but you don't wanna feel like it's anything overly dramatic um, if you hit an area that's really, really sensitive, especially in the foot or where that plantar fascia attaches, you're going to know if it's too much. You know, if you're thinking in your mind, this is probably going to make this worse, then that's not an area that you necessarily want to really dig into right away. Um, another option to replace the tennis ball, a very common one, is the frozen water bottle. So you get a little bit of an anti-inflammatory effect with a rolling motion. But tennis ball is a, is a nice, easy thing to grab. Um, starting off with gentle pressure like I'm doing, and if I don't feel too bad, I can forcefully lightly push my foot down into that ball, which is going to give me a little bit more pressure as long as it's not too uncomfortable. I would do this just very lightly for anywhere between two to five minutes, um, very gently rolling over some different areas, trying to be conscious that I'm not hitting anything that feels too sensitive or bony prominence. Um, but as long as it feels okay, it's typically helpful at relieving tension that builds up down there.